you need to keep your vehicle looking its best. Mothers, Meguiar's, Wolfgang, Diamond Eye, 3M, Pinnacle, and more. AutoGeek.net carries over 60 brands. AutoGeek selection is huge, our prices are low, our expert staff can answer any question you have, and we ship right to your door. AutoGeek.net, we are car care. We are here in Lincoln, Nebraska for our third segment of live feeds today, guys. Obviously, it's AutoGeek.net, and it's what we call helping in the heartland today. So we're here in Lincoln, Nebraska. You know, you guys know the story. We're working on this 69 AMX for a buddy of Wes from Pro Headers, man. He's one of the forum guys, came on, offered a challenge up to Mike to come out and help out with this reveal. Basically, we're doing a complete overhaul. They're doing a complete overhaul on this 69 AMX. And he brought in Mike and the whole crew here from AutoGeek.net to go ahead and do a complete cut and buff of, all of the paint on this thing. That's a brand new paint job, and it's going to look even better when it's all said and done. But one of the cool things we've got is we've got some help here from some of the forum members. It's just not the pros from AutoGeek, but we've got guys like, you know, you and I on the forums checking it out who drove over, flew in town to help out. One of them is Ben here. Ben. Ben. Gone. Good, man. It seems like you're hard at work back here. Ben, tell me, how did you get involved in this project? Yeah, I was checking out on the forums and saw that uh, they needed some help, and I was one of the lucky ones, I guess, to sign up. And I've never had the opportunity to wet sand or to actually use a rotor, so I've already been able to do both within the first couple of hours of this project. So, so what are your thoughts so far? Man, you drove five hours over from Iowa. What are you thinking so far? You're about, what, five hours in or so, I'd say. It's definitely a lot of work, but it's also a lot of fun, and we're all having a great time here. So what exactly have you been doing back here today? Uh, using the garage three inch here um, to wet sand both these panels. Um, currently we're on a 3,000 grit and Paul's falling behind me for a 5,000 to uh, bring back this finish. So, Well that's pretty cool. You, you know, you've never done any of this before? Never. And so how are you feeling? You're a little nervous coming in. You've got the expert standing over there watching, judging, <laughs> look at the baby. Yeah, with Ben and Mike here, um, yeah, they, they showed me and been able to just uh, replicate it and use that process throughout the doors and the hood and, and the back fender there. So. Now, are you going to be with us for all day today and all day tomorrow? Yeah, I'll be here until we uh, get it done. All right, man, it's going to be a long day and a long night ahead. All right, Paul, man, you're the quiet guy over here. You're working away hard, I see. Now, you came all the way in for Florida for this. Right, I did. I flew up from Palm City. I asked Mike on Tuesday night when we were doing the uh, Challenger if there was room for me because I saw on the uh, forum not, not many people had signed up. And uh, I used to go to school out here, so, and my daughter's at the university, and it made a good tie together so I could come see her and do a, do a nice, generous, uh, one of those random acts of kindness for somebody who I don't know. <laughs> you know, that's really a cool thing, you know, and I think that's one thing that's neat about the whole AutoGeek.net community. I mean, because there's a bunch of people who all get together and not only are they share their passion for cars, but are here to help each other out, man, and what a great demonstration you've done today for just about everybody. Well, Bruno, the trip was worth it seeing this car, working with the guys, and meeting you. So uh, it's, it's, been a, it's been a pleasure. Oh, that's cool. So what, what are you working on here right now? Um, putting on uh, 5,000 grit with the uh, power sander and buffer, and uh, we're just uh, putting on our final sand before we go to compounding. Now, what is your experience in doing this kind of stuff? Well, I worked with boats and with boats. So, uh, you know, I've, I've done gel coat and things like that. Cars, not a whole lot, but I took Mike's boot camp, and really, I, you know, I love cars, and just kind of fell into this. So. Nice. Well, thanks for coming out here, Paul, and uh, I wish you the best hanging in here for the next day and a half or so. As you can see, I'm a little wounded. Yeah. With, I've got a, some uh, sickness we're fighting off, but it, we're all pulling together here for the next day and a half. we got left to work. Check in with Mike, the expert. Where are we at, Mike? Well, we have completely finished the sanding steps and the first compounding step. What do you think? I'm going to tell you, it looks like a finished product to me. Yeah, that, I it, mean, it's amazing. Well, that's a testimony to the, the Minzerno abrasive technology. This is actually compounded, and a lot of times, if you use a traditional or an archaic type compound, it would actually be a scoured mess. And you're right, this looks like it's actually been waxed, it looks that good. And we still got two polishing steps left to go on here. So we're going to start wow. that up next, and then we're going to finish this hood and set this aside. Then we're going to bring one of the fenders over here and get going on the fender. So that's where we're at. We've got the trunk lid is completely compounded. It's ready for polishing. They're wrapping up the sanding on the doors over there. We'll finish this up 
get the fenders going. And after we get the fenders done, then we're going to attack the body shell. Well, you know, you and Ben have been doing a lot of work here on this because, you know, you guys are the, the resident experts, so to speak. Ben, you know, what going into this, what was your, your thought process on this whole project? Um, oh, I don't know. It was just Wes brought it to me about a month ago, and um, this kind of came about, I'd say, about two weeks ago. Um, you know, I was kind of leery at first because it is my baby when I get done painting it, but after meeting Mike and seeing his work, um, I'm definitely glad he came here. I've learned some stuff. Um, you know, I'm really happy. So. Any chance you taught him a thing or two? Uh, I doubt it. <laughs> Actually, I've learned a lot. In fact, one of the things I always share in the forum is to always be open to new products, new technology, new techniques. And uh, we can always uh, banter back and forth and learn things from each other. So this has been a good experience for me, and I've learned a lot from Ben already. Ben, what about the products you've been using? Are these stuff you've been familiar with coming in, or is there something you, you've um, going to take away from here? Actually, this is the first time I've ever sprayed this clear. Um, I'm really happy with it. Uh, I think it laid out great. Um, it's given us a nice platform to work with. Now, what, in terms of product you use, what did you use in this in terms of paint and in terms of clear? Um, house of color. Uh, that's, yeah, four coats of clear and then uh, three coats of base. I was really happy with the way the house of color um, covered. It's a really nice black. Uh, it definitely looks like the panels are made out of black now. Um, no, just really, really happy with it. In terms of the detailing products you're using, is this a product you're familiar with? I know we're using Menzerna here you know, with the Flex Polishers. You've got the Lake Country manufacturing pads. What are your thoughts? Um, never used the Menzerna or the Flex Polishers. Really happy with both. Um, I've used Mothers in the past for this kind of stuff. Uh, I'd say this is right along there with the Mothers. Um, I will probably actually start using this stuff. So. Really, really happy with They're it. both quality brands. What yeah. we wanted to do is we wanted to bring and showcase some of the new Menzerna products. And I've used Mothers as well, and they've got an established great reputation in the industry. One of the things um, Ben had a chance to use is this is the Flex, of course, the Flex PE14 lightweight rotary polisher. weighs five pounds. And I put an extension on here and a little three-inch wool buffing pad. And what this does, the extension gets the body of the tool out of the way of where you're working so you can better see where the pad is. And then the size of the pad fits these smaller, more intricate panels. And that just enables you to do better work and be a lot more careful as you're doing it. Nice. Yeah, and in something like this, a project you're this far along, you want to be as careful as possible. Right. Well, you don't want to start going backwards. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I, Mike was making the joke earlier before, hey, do you have any, a quart of uh, touch-up paint? <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, a, that definitely made my heart sink. So. <laughs> that's one of my oldest jokes. I used to, when I detail cars full time, I would uh, about halfway through the day, I'd call up a customer and say, "Hey, uh, everything's going along pretty good, but uh, do you got any touch-up paint? You know, like a quart?" <laughs> and I could just see them having a heart attack. And of course, it was just a joke. So. Well, you got to keep things light. You know, it's it's been a long day already so far, and we're early in the day. We've got a long way to go and a lot of work to go. Mike, are you starting to stress out a little bit? Uh, no, because one of the things that's going on here is now everybody's kind of warmed up. You know, at first, you know, we have some new guys that are new to sanding and buffing, and now they're, they're becoming more comfortable. You know, their comfort level's coming up. They're better with the tools. So things are going to go a lot faster now. And hopefully we'll have some more hands on deck. I know Wes is usually here when the cameras are rolling, and somehow he's inconspicuously absent. Hopefully we'll get him back out here. We've got some more hands on deck, and we get some more work done. Uh, we've got another live broadcast coming up at 5 o'clock. You guys need to tune into that. Hopefully we'll be on to the body itself. What do you think about that? Possible? Uh, yeah, no, we'll be on to the body, I think, uh, easily by 5 o'clock, probably the next couple hours. Um, once, I mean, all the hard work has been done to these panels, the, the fenders, if everybody starts attacking it, I think we'll actually have some guys moving over to the body, the shell here. Good, and then we can kind of have all hands on deck on that. I know that's going to have some challenges, though, because we've got a lot of contours, and it's not a flat plane like working with here, but some of the guys will be a little more experienced at that point, and I think it should go a little bit better, hopefully. Yep, it'll go better, plus we'll, uh, we'll take on all the raised body lines. We'll go ahead and put the blue vinyl tape on here so we can see where they're at. We got some scaffolding here to stand up and start getting the roof. And uh, basically, we will start at the top and work down because, you know, as you're saying, the, the, any of the splatter is going to be falling downward, so we want to take care of the roof first. But, yeah, it'll go a lot faster. All right, so everybody's smiling here and everybody's having a good time. Thank you guys for joining us for this broadcast. We've got to thank our sponsors before we go any farther. Of course, guys at AutoGeek.net. Max, thanks for letting us come out here and be part of this. Guys from Menzerna, Flex, Lake Country Manufacturing. Our buddy Wes from Pro Headers. And uh, who else? Anybody I miss? Oh, yeah. You're, the guys right here from No Coast, man. They shot the paint on this thing. Without their input, we wouldn't be to this point. So all you guys have been a part of this. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. And see us back here in about, Mike, two and a half.
yeah, two hours just, and 45 minutes, man. You've got to get to work. Let me throw in one more. Go up and like Ben's Facebook page, okay? And also, want to thank the people at Lake Country, or uh, the people at Grit Guard, because you can't see it because it's down there on the floor there, but we've been using the Grit Guard Universal Pad Washer extensively. And that's just to keep those buffing pads clean so we can remove all the spent product and any of the paint that we've removed through the compounding process. And that enables us to work clean. And that's why you see these low swirl results after compounding. Oh, so, yeah. And we also, the guys from 3M, too, they helped us out a bunch with a lot oh, of products. We've been using all their sandpapers today, and they've been working great. All right. Get everybody in. All the love, I think we're all all the love felt there, back. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you guys for joining us. We'll see you guys in a couple hours. Cool. Well, let's get back to work.